right, here's the first little workflow I have for going from mesh lab to cleaning up one of those uh, meshes, like the dense mesh you sent me. So I just go to import mesh. Um, I find the one from you um, with the fancy Poisson stuff going on, getting that fish. Um, it's gonna import that whole dang thing here. It's gonna take a second, because everything takes a second. And there's our whole model. And I'm just really surprised how well it gets the living room and stuff. So we got all this stuff and we just want that cake. So I can zoom in, kind of get over to this cake part that we want. Now, this program's kind of janky. And so it took me for a while to realize that sometimes like your selections just disappear, um, but they're still selected. So anyway, here's what I did. I go to select vertex clusters. I click on here somewhere and then I can start dragging. It takes a second sometimes, or sometimes it just takes you gotta do it twice. Okay. So then I can drag it and it starts infecting stuff um, that's nearby with our selection of what we want. So I'm gonna go maybe down like this and then we can always chop off the bottom if we want. Um, but so I'm gonna, yeah, just go around a little like that. Then I go up to render. Oh no, I go to filters. And then I go to selection. And I go to invert selection. And now it all disappeared there, but that's okay. Then you gotta click on preview. But one thing I realized was it would not do anything if I had faces selected. So I have to just click invert vertices. So now it's getting everything that's not our choice cake. Then I have to hit apply and it just kind of hangs out there and doesn't really seem like it necessarily did anything. But then I close this and then you have to hit this one, this triangle to kill stuff. Don't hit the other ones, because then it just breaks stuff. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Boom, kill that, yes! And now we just have our singular, beautiful cake. And we can continue uh, selecting stuff from the bottom uh, if we want. There's another thing over here besides the like infect your selection uh, kind of thing. So that's the thing that lets us like infect stuff but we can also do choose like a plane. Um, and I think it'll define a plane. I don't know how it defines a plane actually. But in theory we could just chop it. Oh, it's pushing a plane through it in that direction. Okay. There's gotta be some way to move the plane starting from the bottom where it would make sense. But I've just been going and doing more of the infector, infector selection um, for now. But we'll get there. Um, so I would just go and like click and drag in little parts and just go around to wherever we don't want, that kind of thing. But for now, it looks pretty good. Um, just gonna back out of this. And then the final step is simply go up to File and go to Export Mesh As. And for Unity, we don't want no plies, we want some OBJ files. Obj. So we just do this. And this is my video demo. And once we have that OBJ file, yeah, 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 it's all good. I just left it, clicked on whatever. I want normals. Um, also, if we want it for colliders, we do one more step um, where we want the, collide, the normals all facing inwards so that the particles stay in. So I go to filters and I go to the one that talks about normals and then I choose invert faces orientation and then it gives me another little dialog box. I just hit apply. Everything gets kind of just dismal looking. Um, but then it lets us actually uh, 
have the particles bounce on the inside of the thing instead of normal. And then you just go and you export the mesh as an OBJ. Boom, and then you're all set. Then what you can do is you can take your OBJ and to Unity and you can just drop it right in there. Um, or you can replace other things and just choose a different mesh. Um, and then I can even, in our particle systems, they're all set up to take the mesh instead of just the arbitrary shapes that the particle systems normally are. And so those have been working pretty good. Um, for instance, let me put away this, this one. So like, I just have, normally I wouldn't have the texture of the cake, but it was just to help me debug it and align, make sure it's all aligned. But um, it's pretty nice. And you just have the pretty little sparkles dangling right there.